They're the smallest ones. They're the ones that do the the least amount of damage. Hold on, let me look here. That's horseman's foils. I got the stats. <laughs> okay, yeah. All right, let me look at something here. Bum, 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 bum. Is anyone controlling the paladin, or are we just letting out of the story for now? Or... He he didn't say anything about letting anybody control his thing. He got a hold of me on the thing, like literally two minutes before mm -hmm. we, I was getting ready to bring this up, and he said something about an emergency or something like that. So it's like this: my thing is, uh, uh, my thing is, if you miss two complete, you have if you if you miss two complete sessions in a row, I'm gonna find somebody else because. You know, there's people that want to play, and it makes it hard on me to kind of uh, adjust stuff. Okay, let me check something here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so everybody's in their uh, correct order. And you start through, and just as you're coming into the wood, you that, that overcast that was going on. Boy, somebody's really laying down the... the uh, Brian. Typings. Right. But anyway, you're going yeah, through... It might be me. It says, that, it says that it mutes me every time I type, so I, I don't understand. Yeah, that's all right. But anyway, as you guys are coming into the wood, you have rode through that heavy cloud and everything, but just as you're starting to get into uh, that the, the beginning part of it, you start to feel some rain coming down. Yep, pull up the hood of my cloak. It's not super strong, but it's just like little drops. Has a little bit of a salt taste to it coming off the sea. I blame the elves. He <laughs> blames the elves. It's a little <laughs> bit cooler now. The temperature's definitely gone down. And... You guys get through the rest of the afternoon, and it is about 8 o'clock now, and you haven't seen anything. You've heard what you thought were a couple animals darting in different parts of the trees off to the side of you. Um, nothing too on, uh, nothing too ominous. No growls or anything like that. It just seems like regular uh, woodland stuff. But you do, off in the distance, you keep hearing these uh, different kind of squeaks and squeals and just all this stuff. And it's things that you've never heard before. And it's getting dark. The rain is starting to pick up a little bit. So it's pretty much just about time for you guys to make camp. Yeah, I don't like those sounds. Maybe we should keep going a bit till they stop. Um, um, I'm pretty sure if it's some sort of wildlife or monster wildlife, it's probably just going to keep going. I mean, you can keep going if you want, but it's it's the, the noise has been nonstop since you came into the wood. Well, whatever then. I guess we'll set our tents and, you know, start a fire because we definitely need one to keep the animals away. We need to double up the water tonight, too. I'll go first. And... So you guys get your tent set up. It's a large tent, so there's enough room for all of you. Hey, you know, I never <laughs> said anything about that. <laughs> yeah, I we have a large, a large tent. <laughs> So you're going to make them sleep out in the rain while you, you crash in the large tent. That ain't lawful good. Can't we be mad I've about got, this? I've got a tent, but it only holds two, and I, I need my space. Uh, what's that? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll let them, but I'm going to grouse about it. I'll let them know that they should have thought ahead. And I didn't know that you had gotten the tent, Cadwall, and I thought only uh, Gorm had one. I have a small tent. Okay, well, I didn't know that, but that's cool. You can set up your own tent then if you want um, to. Uh, I will assist. I actually them. believe that. You, I'll tell you what, you guys sure. work out your sleeping arrangements. Let's put it that way. I will assist the two in going to sleep in the form of magic. 
No, uh, no, no, no. We still need them for the watch. Yeah. I can't. I can't take like three shifts because. Don't just be casting random spells on these guys. They might not like it. Well, I was yeah. gonna talk to them first. Tell them I can help them get to sleep if they're having trouble. Well, I don't know. So about you're just you, gonna but... cast. You're gonna cast sleep on Cad Wallen's uh, henchmen. If if they need it, if they're saying they're having trouble being uncomfortable. I, I don't think you should even so offer, if a, man. That just sounds creepy. Fight starts. We're on our own because the henchmen are all asleep to be slaughtered. Oh, wow. Well, at least you'll get your fifteen gold back, at least. Well, oh. you know, you shouldn't just call them henchmen. They have names, although I can't remember them. <laughs> I'll uh, you I'll there walk with the uh, whichever one looks like the the weaker of the two henchmen. You're gonna so, do what with him? I'll stand watch with one of the weaker of the weaker of the one too. Okay, so so one. you and Richie Cunningham are. One second, guys. Yeah. I'll take either first or last, so I can. Yeah. Well, I guess I don't need this. So uh, well, she was in the hospital. She was in the hospital. She didn't have that. What? Yeah. Uh, no, no, not tonight. But yeah, she was. Okay. So we have. Um. Me and me. And. Okay, so you guys have got your uh, yeah. sleeping situation yeah, set up. Um, yeah. I'm actually... yeah, I think we're all just in the large yeah. tent. Okay. Horses tethered outside and whatnot. Okay. Player's handbook doesn't say it sucks. I have to look in the arms and flip in here. Hold on. I don't know why that wouldn't be in the player's handbook. How many people could fit in there? Does it have dimensions? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A, a large tent should fit eight. Is that eight? I'm yeah, assuming so it good. should. <laughs> no, we don't even need to bust eight a plus backup tent. Some people are standing watch. So. And you got to realize there's, there's there's short people. There's nothing. That's eight humans, and most of you guys are dwarf or. Uh, halfling and stuff, so you're small, except for Richie and uh, Fonzie. So we've got room. Everyone can sleep in there and still have place to like put their bags. So, all right, everybody gets in bed. Um. All right, let me grab this. Okay, Gorm, go ahead and roll a 10. Fiver. You rolled a five? Yep. Okay. You guys are down asleep, except for Gorm and Richie Cunningham. And you hear rustling out in the woods that is making the horses start to spook. Um, uh, that's my watch? Yes. I tell uh, Richie to uh, hang out here by the, uh, the tent for a minute. I'll, if I'm not back in a minute, wake the others. I'm okay, so to... so you go out the tent, and there. The... Oh, I'm on watch. I'm outside of the tent. Oh, you are outside. I thought you were uh, like it's inside kind of, the it's tent. Kind of a worthless out. watch to be in the tent. Well, I mean, you can stand there <laughs> yeah. with the flap and look out while it it was still raining, but the rain okay. has pretty much dissipated for now. There's little bits of it here and there, but it's not as hard as it was before you guys went to bed. Um, there is a little bit of moonlight that peeks through some of the clouds uh -huh. and from where you are on your side of the road out into the forest um, mm -hmm. uh, to the left of you to the right of you and across the road you see what looks to be a line across from you a line of innumerable little two foot tall shapes where they have bits of foliage and stuff stuck on them 
and it looks like each one of these things that are coming towards the road and the ones that are off to the side that are coming towards your tent have short swords. Uh, ah. But you can't really see their, their, their full-on features yet. You can just tell that they're short. They're uh, a little bit shorter than you, but not by much. I'm going to head back and uh, wake the other. So you go in, and you get everybody up. What's going on, Gorm? And as you're doing that, the horses are starting. You've got them tied up to trees. They're jerking hard to get off of those trees. There's uh, armed creatures outside, outside. And I head back out, and I go to the horses. I follow them out there. Sorry? And when you, okay, go ahead. Well, no, I was just saying I'm following you out there. Okay, he's following you out there. And now the ones that line that were uh, just a certain distance away, they're up close, and the light hits them. They look like their skin is green and brown and mottled. They have uh, leaves and limbs and little things stuck all over them. They have what looks to be like a little... Uh, moss, uh, loincloths, they have short swords, and they have white eyes, and there's one guy in the middle that's going, and just yelling, just like yelling at all these guys on his row, and yelling at the guys that are in the trees over by where you guys are, and he's like getting them to advance. You don't understand what he's saying, but you know that they're all coming at where you guys are. They're definitely hostile. Oh yeah. Hey, come on. My uh, I'm all ready. Okay, the large line comes across, and you see. Uh, let me see here. What do we got here? Blah blah blah. There are about nine of these little guys coming across. Off to the other side of the trees where your horses are, you see a shorter line of five, and off to the back side of your tent, there's uh four more. Yeah, it's 18 of them, huh? That I can see. That you guys can see, yeah. Well, nobody said it'd be easy. They warned us about these woods, so. Oh, I'm, I'm just sitting there waiting for somebody to uh, make an aggressive move. And then I'm uh, you should probably try and wake the rest of the party. I did. Oh. Yeah, everybody's up, man. They're they're out and, and getting their thing together. Okay. So. There's no surprise, so. Uh, everybody, grab a tin and roll a tin cider, please. I rolled a one. Oh, ten. What'd you roll, uh, Steve? Ten. Okay, cool. What'd you get, Rick? Six. Okay, cool. What'd you get, Thaden? He got a seven. Okay, and what'd you get, Kev Wallen? Six. Okay, and uh, you, Thorhammer? One. Okay, they rolled a three, so Gorm, you're first. Uh, they've come across the, 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 the road. They're almost to the edge of the, the grassy part, so distance-wise from you, they're about ten feet. So that line, the, the ones that are on, huh? We're going high high roll first. Do what? So we're going with the high roll first for initiative. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, high rolls always always wins for initiative. All right. Um. No, oh, I'm in bad shape. Then. And the ones that are on the sides, the like this little pincher group, they're about yeah. twenty feet away from you either side. That's all of you guys. They're about twenty feet away either side. So the large I'm, flank of nine is closer than these other guys are. I'm going to charge the big group right down the middle. The guy that was doing the yelling? Okay, yeah. so you get there. You got the you got the ability to get there within your first few seconds, and you don't have to, so let me do something here real quick. All righty, let me see here. da 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 da, -da. Okay, just a quick second. I didn't have that. Okay, I do have to look here. Just a quick minute. Look 
up here real quick. Okay. Now, I assume we weren't all sleeping in our armor, eh? Magic armor. <laughs> Not everybody. I don't know. I don't think leather is that uncomfortable to sleep in, is it? The, the ones the, the, the ones that would be the hardest is if you had plate or something like that. Even ring mail you could sleep in, but uh, anything that's that's uh, above ring mail, yes, you would have to take the time to put it on. So I can sleep mail. in my armor? The chain mail that I got? What's that? The chain mail, would, the crappy chain mail? Yeah, you're, 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 you're good for that, but if it would have been above that and, and, and being better, yeah, you would have had to actually taken the time to uh, put it on. Uh, let me see here. Okay, so I have splint now. Come on. Why well, I bought that stud of leather. You need something to sleep in. <laughs> Keychains for the dwarf. Yeah, your splint mail is going to take 1d6 plus 4 rounds to dawn if you have health. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, if you're on watch, you've already got your armor on for sure. Um, well, I offered to take the first watch. watch. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Hold on just a second, guys. I just chose to ignore me. Okay. I don't think it's in that. See, it's making me, because I can't bring up that map, it's making me have to uh, go the long way around on this. Just a second. Mind flare. You know these aren't mind flares. I was gonna say, I hope they're not mind flares. Oh dear lord, we're doomed. What, we're done. <laughs> if it was mind flares, it would be a total party kill. <laughs> would be take them first level. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on, man. Well, eighteen of them, guys. The worst. The, the only thing worse than that is if Cthulhu decided to join up with them. <laughs> right. I mean, they're like little Cthulhu's already. Basically. There's what I needed to see. Okay, so you're going for the big one. All right, go against AC7. So you got to hit a 13. Um, I hit an armor class 16. Well, you hit. You rolled 16, right? No, I rolled so four. So if you were aiming class. at the ground, I'm pretty sure you missed. So if they were asleep, lying on the ground, I still missed. Yep. So you, you you swing at this dude, and because of that, you're on him. And what's your AC? My armor class is four. Your armor class is four. Let me see. Okay. All right. Oh! He comes at you with a short sword, and he splats you for a, a natural 20. Ooh. And well, you're dead. Hold on now. We use crits, don't we? Yes, we do. Okay, no. hold on. <laughs> All right. So, but his sword is so old; he doesn't get the one d six. He gets. Well, he gets double damage, but because of it being the crappy sword, and he rolls a d four on this. Because a regular sword would have given him D6 if it hadn't been so crappy. They all have crappy swords. Uh, you take two points. <laughs> hey, don't laugh it off, man. Two points can kill you in this version. So that one, he's kind of off to the, off to the side of you. And these guys, the other eight, are kind of circling around. So you've got a pincher movement. These guys that are in the pincher movement are now within 10 feet of you. And these other ones are kind of in a half moon thing, just kind of lumbering. They're little short dudes. They're kind of gibbering, and they're just like they're just like moving in. So next we have our guys that were tied at six. Or did anybody roll above a six? Thaden did. Thaden, so you're up, Thaden. Uh, I will throw a sleep on their group. Okay. Roll the battlefield. <laughs> Okay, the, the the half moon group of people that's coming at you. So there's eight of them, 
Um, and five hit dice of them fall asleep. So that's five of them. Four of them keep coming. And now the ones that are on the side, these guys are like in melee range. The the five to the right and the four to the left. So Thaden, so now it's our our uh, two that are tied at six. Which one of you is gonna do it? Do your thing first. Go ahead, Bard. Mr. Bard. Alrighty. Uh, hmm. When I emerge from my tent, is there like an obvious leader? The the leader was the one that ju that you seen just uh, clash with Gorm. All right. Can I take a shot at him without risking hitting Gorm? Yeah, he's he's off to the backside of him. So all you're doing is uh, uh, kind of like changing your uh, aim of whatever it is that you're going to do more to the right to the right of Gorm. So you're within maybe 10 feet of him. Oh, wow. That's okay. I'll take a shot at him. Uh, what's his AC? Okay, hold on. Let me... His AC is 7. So I'll need a 13. A 15. I hit. For... Okay. Yeah? Yeah, for the sheaf arrow. Are you doing the arrows? Yeah. And what's the damage for sheaf arrows? D8. All right, roll them. That's, oh, uh, that, fuck, that's a one. But I get another shot. I believe I have two rate of fire on this thing. Does Longbow have, have two to one? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. A one, fuck. That's a critical uh -oh. miss. So one of them hits him for a point. It kind of just, like, glances off of him and nicks his arm. And he makes a blue, blue, blue. And he's the other not speaking Elvin, is he? Nope, he's speaking nothing you've never heard before. Ever. Thorhammer assumes it's Elvin automatically. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's uh, Padwallen. So I believe, did you, didn't you tie with him, Rick? Yeah, I'll go now. So it sounds like the ones that um, he was attacking are the are basically the ones that we should go for because the mage took the pincher took, guys or whatever? No, he took the, the half-moon crew that was coming across the road. There are four of them that made it through. He got the rest of them with his uh, sleep. And now you yeah. have five coming from the right and four coming from the left. All right, I'll go for the five. Just pick one at random. Okie dokie. Sling? Yeah. Okay. I got a ten. Oh, that ain't gonna do it. I got another shot. Okay, go ahead. An eleven. Woo. That still ain't gonna do it. Both them bullets go whiz, whiz. Okay, so the last one we have one that somebody rolled a one. Wasn't that you, uh, Thor, uh, Thorhammer? Yep. Okay, what you gonna do, bud? Um, if I'm using my sling, what what modifier do I add to that for? Well, if it's not plus, you just you just do your to hit roll with it. But since it's not, are you plus, proficient with a, a sling? Or, or, I that... mean, I have a proficiency in it, but I'm not like specialized like I am. With yeah, the... then it's just a plus zero. The only time you would have gotten something for it is if you would have specialized. No, although I... if you have a, a high enough dex, you can get bonuses on oh, range. Oh, all right, there we go. Um, there you, you know, go. I, yeah, I I don't have that high of a dex. Okay, so then I guess you don't have it, but you do have a two for two for one uh, rate of fire. So, all right. Uh, I mean, since I don't have my armor on, I gotta. Yeah, I probably should have invested in like studded armor or something for this. Leather armor pajamas. It didn't seem like a good idea at first, and all of a sudden now it sounds like the best idea I've ever heard. Well, don't you have armor of some kind already? Well, I have splint mail, but. Oh. I think... And I'm sorry to say slings only have one rate of fire. Why would you mess up our group? So... Hold on now. Are you sure? Because it said two slash one in the book. Oh. I think that's for staff slings. Hold on. 101, I believe. <laughs> sure. 
Yeah, you don't have any armor because because putting on that splint is uh, going to take you a long time. All right. Um. All um, right. Oh yeah, you gotta look up the way to find. Well, you can go ahead and roll while I look. That's a nineteen. Okay, hold on just a second. Hang on, I gotta look up equipment. Oh, okay, I was at the wrong page. Five, six, 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 seven. Okay. Uh, sling, 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 sling. Try page one forty-six or thereabouts. Um, I'm looking in the the original uh, player's handbook. Um, the sling, speed factor. Okay, you've got weight, size, type, speed factor, damage. Scroll down past that, and you should get a missile weapon ranges table that has the, the rate greater of fires. size. Can do, or the weapon only allows this weapon inflicts double damage. This weapon inflicts double damage. Is piercing, slashing. Ten of these weigh one pound. Um. Actually, in the in this one, there's nothing. Any okay? Hold on. There we go. Wrong table. Oh, the staff sling is two for one. Regular sling bullets are one for one, and throwing mm. knives are two for one. So from now on, always remember, slings are one for one. Okay, I'll update my sheet. Mm. Okay, so you did uh, 19. Yeah. That does hit. So go ahead and roll your damage. Yeah, this counts as a small enemy. Right so, what did you this one? Uh, I got four plus one. That's a five damage to it. Okay, this guy gets it right in the middle of the head and knocks him flat on his ass. Mm -hmm. The water of an accuracy. What's that? I said dwarf inaccuracy. <laughs> yeah, I missed, meant to mispronounce the word accuracy. Okay. <laughs> All right, so everybody's done it. Grab your ten siders. Oh, what about the uh, henchman? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. The henchman. Okay. Which one are you wanting to do first? Richie uh, or Fonzie? Let's do Fonzie, and they're both going to valiantly charge into melee. Because they okay. seem like very inexperienced kids. What are the bonuses for charging? Plus one to hit or two? Plus two to hit and minus one AC, right? Okay, hold on. Fuck, I always hate this having to look in the books during combat. Actions while climbing. Movement. Swimming. Hirelings, henchmen, limits of vision, two mirrors, light, movement. Well, with you charging, we'll just go ahead and say that it's one until I actually find it because it's just the only thing that's bad about the second edition player's handbook is that everything's so all over the place that. Disorganized. Yeah. All right. The, we'll do Fonzie first. He gets a 16 plus a 1, so a, I think he hits against an AC yeah. 7. Yeah. And uh, I guess he's using his flail, because why not? That's 3 damage. Okay. And Redhead, Ginger Boy, goes for a... No, he, he rolls a 7. He doesn't hit shit. So the one guy, it takes a chunk out of his arm, but he's still going, and he is pissed. He's going. Goo, 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 goo. Uh, he, he he hated that. It hurt. Excellent. Okay, so now it's uh, Richie's turn. Oh, Richie missed. Okay, so everybody's gone. 
Now, grab your tins. Let's roll initiative again. I already did. Okay, hold on. Okay. All right, what'd you get, Gorm? Seven. Okay, Rick, what'd you get? Two. All right, Dayton? Uh, nine. Nine, okay. Uh, Cadwallen? Uh, six for Cadwallen, seven for Fonzie, and nine for Richie. Okay, and what'd you get, uh, Thorhammer? I got five. five. Okay, and they rolled a five, so the nines, whoever got tens or nines, go ahead and they get their thing first. Well, Richie got a nine, so I guess he'll go with Thaden. Uh, try and make up for his miss. No, that that won't hit shit. Okay, I'll throw, Thaden. I'll throw a pair of daggers at the ones that are still conscious. Okay, so the ones that are in front of you, there's, uh, well, you, you can't. You can do two at one. I wouldn't let you really diverge the attack. So yeah, go ahead and um, do your roll. Did AC seven? Uh, well, the first one hit. And the second one didn't. Uh, probably not. It was a nine. I don't think I have any modifiers. Okay. So roll the damage for the dagger, or your knife, or whatever it is that you're throwing. What'd you end up getting? Uh, six damage. Okay, six damage. That one, he takes it, and it's buried in him, and he falls down dead. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, da, 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 eight, nine. So there's nine left. Nine that are up. You got those ones that are under the sleep that are going to be coming out of it here in a few rounds, but uh, uh, let's see. They've been asleep for the first round. This is the second round, so they have three more rounds after this. That they're asleep. Yeah, for. just a very short time. They're going to be waking up. Okay, so who was next? There was nine. Was there anybody that rolled an eight? What did you say you got, Gorm? Seven. And I think you and Rick both got a seven. So. No, I got a two. Oh, you got a two. So Richie you're next. The ginger guy got, or. Uh... Uh, Bonds got to seven. Yeah, he's still up, right? Uh, what's that? Nobody got the uh, guy I was on, did they? Last round? Nope. Still up? That's the I one that the, the, that the arrow kind of uh, jinxed his arm, and he's, like, pissed off about it. But he's coming back uh, around to try and get at you. He's facing you now. I had a four. Oh. You're using your mace? Your maul. Your maul? Just slam for air. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Okay. One four. Armor class is better than mine. What's he wearing? Did you say you rolled a four? No, I hit a four. Ah. Uh. I rolled a sixteen. Okay. Well, you need to say that because I because I thought you rolled a four. Well, yeah. I said, I said okay. I hit a four. Okay. Go ahead and roll your damage. Uh, eight damage. He's dead. Right. All right, so there are eight. These ones that are off to the side are closing the gap on you. Um, let's see, there's seven. So now it's between one of Cadwallen's guys that hit seven, and then we go on to the next. So what are you going to do, Cadwallen's? Uh, was it Richie Cunningham? No, Richie already fucked up twice. Uh, Fonzie's going to smack the guy he damaged but didn't kill. Okay, go ahead. Right on, Brian. Go ahead and... Oh, shit. Fonzie got a 19. Hell yes. Okay, go ahead and roll for damage. I think this guy needs a pay raise. <laughs> oh, shit. He's Damn for Fonz, so... Two damage. Oh. Uh, is he using uh, the flail, or what's he using? Yeah, he's using the flail. I already added the plus one. Okay. But I don't know if he gets, like, strength bonuses. I, I assume not. Okay. So, it... 
it kind of spins him, and he's got a good little gash on his shoulder. And he's, like, looking at it like, you hurt me. But he can't say that because you don't understand what he's saying. Everything. Fair okay. enough. So what What was yours that you rolled, um, Thorhammer? Five. Okay, so you're next. Oh, no, Kath Wallen got a six. Sorry. Oh, okay, okay, my bad. Go ahead, go ahead, Kath Wallen. Two more arrows at target whoever I can hit. Um, first one's an eight. That misses. Oh, a 16. That'll hit. Okay, go ahead and roll your damage. Three damage. Thunks him, but it, it's it's stuck, but he's still coming. Now there are six left. All right, my turn. So yeah, you what did you what did you roll? You rolled five and then Rick's last. Okay, go ahead, man. I got sixteen. Okay, that hits. Four. Another five. Well, one. But. Okay. Listen. With that, yeah, it knocks him down, and he's out of it. He's done. So yeah. that's down to to uh, five. All right, Rick, what you gonna do, man? Try to hit one with the sling again. And these guys now, they're 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 kind of in between you in different spots, but they're more in almost like a circular pattern. The one that made it over, so it's like. Uh, you have all the targets that you can go for, and you're going to uh, sling at it again? Yep. Go ahead and roll. Fuck. I got a one. Oh, critical fumble. You went to loose the sling, and you did the old oops, and it flies across the grass. You don't have your sling in hand anymore. Good times. Darn it, Charlie Brown. <laughs> Okay, so there, there's nobody else beyond Rick. Okay. One of them, it's their turn now, is going to come over and try to get the slice up between uh, Gorm's legs and, and, and turn him into a woman. What's your AC? Gorm, AC. Oh, four. Uh, four. Okay. Oh, God, these guys are just having it for you. Natural 20. Jesus. Oh, I got it. Uh, I remember that. <laughs> are dwarves the, ba the black people of Forgotten Realms or something? No, I think that's <laughs> elves, actually. No, no, it's dark elves, actually. So, ironically, they... At double damage, you rolled a two, you take four. All uh, right. I'm less happy. She's less happy. And another one is eyeballing Thaden over here. What's your AC, Thaden? Uh, five, I think. Okay. He comes over with a sword swing. He rolls a one. He just <laughs> does a derdoop, falls over, and it does the thing where the sword sticks in the wet grass and goes wobble, 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 wobble. So he lost his uh, sling. This little dude lost his sword, and it's just there in the grass, and he's just like, blah, 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 blah. he's like all pissed off because his sword is doing the uh, Highlander wobble stuck in the grass. Okay, there's two more. There's one that is going to charge at Cadwallon because he doesn't like you and your arrows. That's no good. What is your uh, AC? I don't get a penalty for having a bow out. Uh, assuming uh, no penalty, I don't know. Uh, AC 4. Yours is AC 4? I'm a nerd for saying this, but the iconic wobbles, wobbling sword is, I believe, Braveheart. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. When he chucks it and it goes and sticks, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's Braveheart, not... Um, that's what I said. Uh, didn't I say Braveheart? You said Highlander. Highlander. Wasn't Super there a part in High Highlander where he did do that? It's either this first one or the second one. I thought he did the wobble. Um, and the last one is going to try and tackle... 
uh, Thor Hammer, what's your AC? Um, I think whatever non-armored me is. Oh, you're non-armored, so you're ten. Yeah, oh, well, that's not good. Roll a one. Nope, he rolled a two. Is none of them going to try and kill one. the Fonz, dude? It's no. the Fonz, even nope. in this world. There was there was a, a, only enough to go after that. The Fonz wasn't um, uh, messed with. Fuck, I might actually have to pay these guys. <laughs> okay, so it's back to knit for everybody. Yeah. Um, are we rolling initiative then? Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. I recommend to make it easier to keep track of, somebody put the initiatives into the uh, the, the the Google Hangout chat so we can like have an order list. I'd put it in there, but the Google Hangout ain't working for me, so. Oh, eight. Because it's not working for me, so I can't see anything except for your guys' uh, stuff on the screen, you individually, but I can't see anything up there. And they rolled a three, so I don't know what you guys all got. We got a three. Nine, Which, eight, six. Okay, who got the highest? Cathwalland, I believe. What did Gorm get? All right, my bad. Eight. Okay, eight, so nine, eight. And what eight did for Fonzie. Eight for Fonzie. Also, Brian got an eight. I forget what his character's name is. Okay, what, what did you get, Thayden? He got a one. Oh, he, he fumbled on his. Yeah, these guys got a three. So whoever got the nine, you're up. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll drop my bow, pull out my sword, and stab the fuck out of this guy who charged me. Uh, did he uh, actually charge me? Like, yeah. Charge maneuver? So he has a lower ACA? Or a higher? Yeah. Okay, let me see here. Let me look at something real quick. Well, Oops. I got an 8, so I'm not going to be hitting him. Yeah, nope, nope, nope. You are not. Okay, so... Anybody else besides Cadwall and Roll a Nine? Okay, who's next with the eight? Oh, well, me and one yeah. of the henchmen. All right, so uh, the next whatever they are in line, go we'll after him. Uh, I guess that'd be me. Although I think the henchman rolled. I think Fonzie rolled an eight, so it's you a go ahead and go. Gorm, first. And Gorm rolled an eight, didn't he? Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up, Brian, hold up, hold up. We're going to do this one at a time. Go ahead and let Gorm and them come over to you. They're just... All right. That's fine. Go ahead, Gorm. I hit an armor class of six. Okay, what was your number? Because I can't see it. I rolled a 14. Okay, nope, that did not do it. All right, uh, go ahead, and uh, what did you, uh, what are you going to do, Brian? Uh, Thorhammer. Um, trying to say everybody's name and character. Uh, I don't know. The guy's like within melee range. Of me, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to probably pull out my mace. Okay, you pull out your mace. Uh, I have an axe. Um, okay. Uh, I got a plus three to hit thanks to my... Oh, Normal plus one, and then the specialty, I think, gives you a plus two. Okay, Are you specialized? That's a plus yes, one to hit I'm... and a plus two damage. Oh, oh, okay. Special, okay, plus one to I hit. Plus... Yes, plus one to hit, plus two to damage. All right, that, that's what it is. Yes, I'm specialized in killing things with axes. All right, here it goes. Uh, 17. Okay, you hit. Roll for damage. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, that's where it was. Where's my D8? Uh, two, so that's four damage. Okay, and, that guy, he slumps over. Mm -hmm. So now there are two of these guys left. 
Okay, so next in line, what did uh, – okay, we got eights. Oh, wait, Who's, we've got uh, Fonzie. Sevens? Fonzie on an eight. Oh, Fonzie on an eight. Okay, go ahead. Uh, he's going to come and help Kath Walland, I guess. Uh, can he get a rear attack on the guy who's attacking Kath Walland? If, if he's, he can get over there quick enough, go ahead. I've got no idea how far away is it because I don't see... Like, he's about, about seven feet. Oh, definitely. Definitely. So, no, these guys don't have shields, right? Nope. Okay, just so their weapons. It's just a plus two, then. Oh, hey, that's a 17. Okay, go ahead and get, go for damage. That's a four damage. All right, that guy slumps over. There's one left. And he sees that he's the last one. He looks around, and he uh, just goes into a frenzy and starts swinging at the nearest one. So, because he ain't going out like that, like no punk. So everybody roll a ten-sided die. Nine. One. <clears throat> Two. Okay. A ten, Four. seven, and a six. Okay. Well, the one has it. He's going out for Gorm, and he's going to try and run you through. And your AC is four? Yep. Okay. He's doing the, the, the little guy from SNL with the samurai sword that, that charge, but he's just, <laughs> and since you're close enough, he's like, he thinks you're a giant because you've got him by about another head. Uh, Size-wise, so we're going to see if he can do it. God dang, do you realize every time I have rolled against you, Gorm, I've rolled 20? And you rolled another 20? Well, that's yes. three in a row. Yes. That happens. Only he's going to start, he's gonna start yelling that you're a cheating DM by now. If I had the cam, I would put it on here and show it. I don't cheat like that. But yeah, I know. And you got to realize, though, I'm, I'm using a, a Chessex Large 20 for my 20-sider. All right, let's see if he what he does. One for double, you take two. Yeah, so I don't, I don't think he's cheating. That's eight points of damage on three crits. You're the luckiest unlucky bastard in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So oh, he's well, like that, well, and you know, he's he's kind of engaged because he's he's got you with that thing. So he's like within arm's reach. Everybody else is behind him, so all the rest of you can pretty much dogpile this guy and get him off of Gorm if uh, if I you can. So we can. Uh, so and to him. see who gets a hold of him, everybody that isn't Gorm, roll a twenty and tell me what your numbers are. Thirteen. Two. Fuck this dice. <laughs> Ten and a five, but uh, Ginger Boy got a fifteen. Ginger Boy is the one that grabs on him and is pulling him off of Gorm. Everybody else is kind of behind him. And um, this guy is screaming like he just hates you guys. He's flashing and flailing. Let's kill it. This. Kill it. Yeah, let's stab the fuck out of this guy. So you guys have got your stuff. You're stabbing the shit out of him. You're right okay. there. There's no need to do that. And he's his little green blood is just splurting all over the place at you guys. And he's screaming, Gurr, I'm your girl. and then he's done. He is dead. Ah, finally. Jesus. Stop all the elvish dribbling. Sweet <laughs> Seldarine, are you all right, Gorm? I am going to use a cure spell on you. All right, I'm go ahead and roll and, roll and see how much you get back. The D8, right? Yep. Yeah. Roll it. I rolled a five. You get five back. But, oh wait, doesn't Cure Light Wounds uh, do uh, plus one to it? Oh, no. whoa. He, he, uh, cure Light Wounds gives him one D8. Oh. I played a different... Yeah, and he got... And five back. Oh. I'm going to pick up my sling. Yeah. <laughs> Your sling went flung. <laughs> Anybody else get hurt? No. No, no. That's me, huh? 
No, I'm. You have to just... step three times. That's the hell it is. <laughs> Under... <laughs> In amazement, I actually managed to dodge the guy that was charging me, despite I had no armor. I dodged him like it was the Matrix. <laughs> And these guys are laid out in different spots where they've died. Um, and you notice that on several of them that they have pouches hanging off to the side of their little mossy uh, uh, loincloths. So you guys going to check them over? Yes, yep. definitely. I need money to pay these guys. <laughs> okay, well... All of them, for some reason, they don't have any coins, but out of the 18, uh, 10 of them each have a different potion bottle inside of that pouch. Who was carrying our potions before? Good question. Uh, I think it, I think it was... Was it as a mule or whatever? I think you guys put them on the mule, but the uh, the you guys put them on the mule, so you guys have them, and the paladin has the bolo because he wanted the bolo for some reason that had no, all the. That was... let's, let's not leave those potions on the mule. Did the anybody notice we sort of lost a friend? What's that? So did anybody notice that one of your humans seemed to be missing? Uh, did I imagine him? Okay, no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. You don't have to bring that up in our piece. But I, th I don't know if, if the paladin picked up all the potions or whatever. But let's just assume that the other potions from the last encounter are with you guys, mm. and he's off in limbo. And these new ones, you can put them in uh, whoever's backpack or, or uh, whatever that you want to keep them in a central spot. But in this one, there are ten. The others have descriptions. These have descriptions, but once again, they're on the roll 20, which I can't get to. Fair enough. We'll worry about it when we have time to, like, test all the potions at once. All right. Well, it is... That's the end of that combat. We'll leave you guys right here. With that, it's about 10 after 11. And just so you know, uh, right now, as we are doing this, our good friend Rick is using a program to capture this. I wish it would have been better to have the, the roll 20, but at least we'll know if it, it tests. And he come up with some stuff that uh, um, once he gets through editing it, will go up on the uh, uh, YouTube page. And I know you're going to like it. And just so for a uh, little thing for you, Rick, whenever you um, uh, do the uh, intro for session three, mm -hmm. put that down. Uh, the tower of just that little part right there put the tower of twilight okay and tomorrow i'm going to each one of you guys will have your individual uh experience for levels and all that stuff and then um the actual uh uh calculations of how much actual monetary treasure you guys have and all that and then uh before the next time that we play Go ahead and update your characters with all the things that you got, any little notes and stuff, and I'll, I'll check on them from time to time. And if I have to add anything um, directly as GM notes to your thing on Obsidian, I'll put them there. But as far as that goes, yeah, so tomorrow, uh, by the end of the night, or at least sometime tomorrow or the next day, you guys will have your experience. So pretty much after this encounter, we're done for the evening. Cool. Yay, we survived another session. Sorry I was <laughs> gone most of this session. Well, that's Shit okay. Happens. It's just, it's the, that's the, that's the one thing is like, if you guys keep getting uh, emails and stuff for me, the reason why I do that is because the closer that we get to us, there's always something that can come up. Like Steve, you know, he thought it was a different time or like you had your thing with something, whatever that you couldn't get on. And our paladin wasn't able to. So this way, if, if you keep getting messages for me, the reason for that is so that I can adjust stuff if I need to on the fly. And that didn't, you know, that didn't come into play. What came into play was roll 20 decided to glitch out, and mm -hmm. I couldn't run you guys through the maps the way I needed to. But hopefully the next time we play, it won't do that. 
and we'll it'll be able to work. A I think I could have role played this a little bit better, but my hands were tied by not being able to do what I needed to with roll twenty. So hopefully they can get that fixed because, I mean, I can't really do more than what this thing will let me do. So, okie dokie, guys. Um, not next Saturday, but the Saturday after. And, like, if anything comes up between now and then, just let me know. And, like I did this time, I'll start sending out messages and stuff to see what you guys are up to, and we'll go from there. All right. See you guys. Ending the broadcast. Fun, fun, Peace fun. out. Have a good one.